Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to take a look at a more general form of the equation of a circle. Here we have x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Remember, in the previous video, we had the equation where we said x squared plus y squared equals r squared, but this is only valid if the center of the circle is at the origin of the xy plane. Here, we're allowed to have the circle somewhere else besides the origin, and the center of the circle is determined by h and k. So let's say that h is over here for the x value, and so that would be equal to x equals h, and here this would be the y value x equals k. This now becomes the center of the circle. If we now know that the radius is equal to r, we can then draw a circle right here so that the radius is equal to r and the center is located at coordinate points h comma k. And this, this equation now is representative of a circle with the center at location h k and the radius equal to r. And it's in that format. For example, if we have an equation that looks like this, let's say we have x minus 3 quantity squared plus uh, y minus 1 quantity squared equals, let's say, 9. Of course, we then realize we can rewrite that. We can write that as x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared equals 3 squared. And now when we want to go ahead and graph that, you realize that the, core, that the center is at x equals 3, y equals 1. Now notice the signs. If the signs here are negative, then we put it in the first quadrant where x and, uh, h and k are positive. If these signs are positive, we would put it over in this quadrant, and we'll see that in the next example. Anyway, let's try to graph that. Again, the center is at x equals 3, y equals 1. So 1, 2, 3 for the x-axis. This is the y-axis, and we positive 1 for the y-axis. So the center of the circle is right there. And then we see that the radius is equal to 3, so in all directions. We go to the left 3, to the right 3, so that would be 6. We go up 3, 1, 2, 3, that would be 4, right there. And 1, 2, so 1, 2, 3, that would be at minus 2. And if we then go through all these points right there, we have ourselves a circle. There we go. That's a circle represented by this equation. x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared equals 3 squared. The radius is 3. The coordinates right there are at location 3 and 1. And that's how we do that. So whenever you have a circle that's offset, you have to somehow put it in this format in order to be able to graph it and make it look like that. And that's how we do that.